Well, good morning and welcome to today's episode of SPI Chamber Today. We're so excited. Yes, focus on this, please, with <laughs> Alita and Diana. And I am Alita. I am the president of the South Padre Island Chamber. And this is my partner in crime, always in crime, Diana. And I'm the marketing director. There you go. Well, it wouldn't be fun if we weren't getting into some kind of trouble, would it, Diana? No. Come on. Well, we're coming to you from beautiful South Padre Island. We are well into the summer, and it is gorgeous. The sun is shining. Is. The beaches are beautiful. The water is warm. So if you're not here, you need to get here. Now, I seem to remember, Diana, in our last episode... You mentioned that you might have a big announcement or surprise for our chamber members. What was up with, oh, you forgot? Oh, of course I didn't forget. Okay. Are you kidding me? Do Diana? I, do I ever forget anything? Don't answer that question. Okay. I was going to be honest, but I won't. Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't so, answer. what you got? All right. Yes, drum roll. Oh, they actually did a drum roll that night, remember? That was it. Okay. Alita and I attended the annual TCCE. It's easier for me to say that. It's Texas Chamber of Commerce Executives Conference last week in Rockwall, Texas. A beautiful town right on Lake Hubbard. We had a great time. We learned a lot. Mm -hmm. We're bringing a lot of stuff back. Oh, yeah, y'all are in with... trouble. We got all sorts of new yeah, stuff. Yeah, boy, howdy. Uh, just hold on to your hats mm -hmm. because we'll be rolling it out before too long. But one of the things that takes place every year is media competition amongst all of the chambers in the state. There's over 500. Over 600 oh, chambers me. of commerce in Texas. In Texas. And this year, we entered the guide to South Padre Island, mm -hmm. and we entered our new formatted newsletter. Beautiful newsletter. You better be reading it. You better be. We'll know if you're not. Yes, I know. <laughs> I can track. She has ways. Yes. So we are super excited to say we brought home da -da 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 -da. first place in both of those competitions. All right. The guide and the newsletter. Ah. So yes, we are excited about that. Excited. And you all should be very excited yeah. because this is your chamber. That's right. And you should be very proud of your chamber. Uh, this competition is fierce. And actually the guide <laughs> to South Padre, which you all are very familiar with, and she's selling uh, oh, yeah. I'm selling ads right now. right now. So if you want to be in an award-winning piece of information that covers everything about South Padre Island and the area, then yeah. you need to make sure that you call Diana or say yes when she calls you. Yeah, just make yourself, make life easier for yourself and just say yes whenever I call. There you go. All right. All right. Well, congratulations, right. Diana. Congratulations, members. Yes. We're very proud of our South Padre Island Chamber. You know, we're... We're just super proud, and uh, we work hard for you all because you are what makes the chamber. Um, okay, on with the show. On with the show. On with the show. I'm going to kick uh, her out. Now, you may have noticed she's a little dirty today, as am I. Um, we have paint and all sorts of stuff on it, and I've, got, I've been painting Diana's house. So I just, we just wore our aprons and you can see what color her living room is going to be. Uh, no kidding. We are here today yes. and I'm going to introduce our guest. So okay. if you will zoom on out. See how she is? She does this to me every week. But I love you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> see y'all next week. All right. So Jenny, can I get you over here? Hi. We are so excited to be here today with you. We are at Art Space. And that's why we have our smocks on. Jenny has hers with the cute starfish. And we're going to learn all about what they do at ArtSpace. So, Jenny, tell us a little. Well, first of all, tell us your last name. I'm Jenny Lundak, and I am a member here at ArtSpace. We are a nonprofit uh, artist co op. There are currently 11 members. We have room for about 15. And we love having new members. We are not owned by any person. It's just us. We have a board um, that changes 
um, every year we make a vote, but we don't always change because we have a great board. Um, and we run the space together. So when you ask who does something, it could be a different person for everything. Well, that's wonderful. You have so much variety here. And how long has Art Space been here? It's been here for 11 years. 11 years. Oh mm -hmm. my, time is going quickly because I remember when they opened. Yeah. Um, and you have grown? Yes, we have grown. We've, um, we, we grow and change every time we get a new member mm -hmm. because every person wants to do something different and that's what we're about. Right. Nice. Supporting our new members, mentoring our new members, helping each other, mm -hmm. um, just having a good time creating together. And then we like to have classes to help us and to help the community mm -hmm. learn new things. Mm -hmm. Currently, we've got a kids camp going on. It finishes, the clay camp finishes on Wednesday, but we've got another art camp starting on Monday the 11th and it goes for four days and we have a new teacher teaching that. And what will she be teaching? She's teaching, um, we call it the uh, art or painting class and they will do a variety of arts and crafts and learning about colors and um, she's got some really special projects planned for them. Oh, how exciting. That sounds yeah. like so much fun. You know, we've talked um, on one of our other episodes that uh, South Padre Island is really becoming an art mecca of South Pot of South Texas, um, and I think it's just going to keep growing and growing. I see um, so many visitors that come, and they love to see art when they're here. Yeah. And many times they buy a piece of art as a memento of their trip. So it's and I know that that children, when their parents are here on vacation, mm -hmm. send their kids to the camps because it's fun and it's something to do. It's creative, and they learn. So. We're thrilled that you all, and y'all were kind of the, the first ones, weren't yeah. you? Yeah, yes. we really were. Mm -hmm. And each one that's come has had a little bit different method, mm -hmm. uh, a, a different thing that they were trying to promote, mm -hmm. like the business incubator, mm -hmm. that's for artists who want to do a business. Mm -hmm. But we're for artists, you can be at the very beginning, you can be farther along in your journey, and you just need a space to create, and also to help other people learn to create. Right. And, so, um, and we do have an open paint and an open clay. These are things you can schedule by going to our website mm -hmm. and um, looking at the calendar and you can just sign up online mm -hmm. and come when, they're, they're usually Wednesday and Thursday at the moment, but, but, but that can change mm -hmm. as a member decides that they wanna teach a class. Right, well, now you remember we just talked about our, our award-winning newsletter You'll also find lists of classes when you read your newsletter and you can just click on the Art Space logo or under the information and it will go straight to their website so you will never miss a great art class or a learning experience. Um, now I understand that you also sell art here, that this is also a gallery. Yes. Do you want to just kind of show us around yeah. a little bit? Sure. And, um, Some beautiful pieces here. We have uh, right here behind us. Um, uh, it, we, the only art that we have in our gallery is either made by our artists or donated by another artist uh, to help support art space. So what you will find is whatever we've decided to create. And um, so we, you know, we've got some, some various kinds of pottery and some earrings. I, I love these um, oh. the, the sunglass holders. They're yeah. a fish with sun. You can put your glasses on top of the fish's And that's because mouth. my husband needed a sunglass holder. Okay. And so I started making those. That know? is so cute, and, yeah. Um, Ooh, and these pieces with the driftwood are beautiful, yes, too. Yes, those are really done by nice. Anne. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the piece there that you're looking at is mm -hmm. done with Raku, which is a very interesting process. You heat up an outdoor kiln, you take it out, you put it in a can with newspaper, which catches fire mm. as you put it in, and the fire gives you the variation that you see. Is that right? And the colors. Wow. It's That's, really quite exciting. It is beautiful, too, yes. definitely. And um, you just have a lot of beautiful, have a lot pieces, of beautiful around pieces around here. Um, different artists have different things they want to try. Here's one where she tried putting glass in here. Oh. Um, and this is purely decorative if mm -hmm. they do that. You also will see the influence of various 
very well-known artists that have come and taught workshops for us. Um, so it, this is Kay Coker's work. Mm -hmm. um, she's one of our members. Uh, this is Phyllis. Mm -hmm. She loves to do the, um, it looks like acrylic pour, but it's with glazes. Mm -hmm. And she loves to do those. Very pretty. Um, these are um, done with the influence of our last teacher. Ashton Means, the dragon, is oh, okay. um, from Becky Zemer, who came. Um, and the little vase there is from David Henley, also a very well-known potter. Mm -hmm. And the little ones at the bottom are a process that I learned about printing on newspaper and then printing it. So you did those? I did those. Cool. And so do you have, um, we're going to go in this room, Diana, as soon as you're ready. I, I'm assuming that you have a lot of winter visitors that we li do. like to come here? We do. Uh -huh. And this is also our classroom area as okay. well as our gallery. Mm -hmm. uh, in the back is an area, every member gets two shelves. So it's kind of a mess back in there, but, but everybody gets to put as much stuff as, as they can get there on their shelves. Know. Well, I know about <laughs> that because I've been packing and I've got more stuff on my shelves. And geez, oh this wow, look at all of this. And we have a lot of shared molds and um, and patterns and mm -hmm. ideas and brushes and tools. We have three wheels. Um, Potting, pottery wheels, pottery is that wheels? what they're called? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we have a slab roller. Uh, light on. And this, you can put the clay through here, and it makes a, a flat slab. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so this is great for making lots of things. Uh -huh. um, so, so now, if somebody doesn't have any experience with these types of things, someone is here to help them to learn and to teach them and of course non-judgmental I'm sure <laughs> yes and and we do it um, I always offer new members mm -hmm. that I will teach them personally oh, okay um, or if it's somebody who just wants a class then we look for somebody who wants to do that okay um, things have changed a little bit with COVID sure. some of us are more comfortable than others right so we just right. wait and see but um, lots of molds up here, lots of stamps. Um, and then we have something exciting to show you if you'd like right. to see. Uh, we're gonna go through the glaze room. Uh-oh. Where is she taking us, Diana? <laughs> oh my goodness, all these supplies. Here are our kilns. We have three. These are the kilns, she said. They've yes. got three we kilns. We got these two as part of a grant mm -hmm. um, through the EDC. And oh. so uh, they're very nice kilns. And in here, this is the grand kiln opening. <laughs> and in here, you, you'll be the first to see what the kids' camp made. Oh my goodness. So we're going to take these out and I'm just going to set them on this other kiln so I can take them out and well, show you. how fun that we get to be the first ones to see their work. And so they will come in on Wednesday and they will glaze these. Aren't these cute? Those are adorable. Um, they and how old were these kids on Between average? Between 8 and 12. Is that right? We well, actually did have talented. one seven-year-old, almost eight, and one 13-year-old who just turned, and he's a, a repeat student that we just love having. So oh. We went ahead. We had space, and so we did. Great. So these are their mugs. Okay. And, and so now will they come in and paint them or something? They will come in and glaze those oh, on okay. Wednesday. Okay. All right. And our newest member... Uh, has painted. Oh, Isn't that cool? Yes. And uh, this is Chris's, and mm -hmm. she, I've been mentoring her. Oh. And she's uh, got another exciting piece in here. I'm going to take out this next shelf as a whole so you can see a few more things if you're interested. Well, we've got about 30 seconds here. Woo! So move fast, lady. All righty. <laughs> This is a shelf that has earrings and um, uh, ornaments, but... Well, how cute is that? I wanted to show you 
Here's the oh, berry the bowl. bowl. Oh. Here's the kids' camp's little pots that they made for planters. So, so we have some more exciting things that coming is, out. Didn't she do a lovely job? Yes, on this? it's so pretty. She's I love been that. a member for just a couple of months. Is that right? And you know, I've never seen powdery at this point before it's glazed. Well, yes. I She'll put I, a clear over those, uh -huh. and then it gets fired again. Uh huh. And just like these, will get fired again once they're glazed. Cool. So, well, Jenny, we thank you so much for taking your time out today. Well, I'm always happy to do it. Good. You all have been chamber members for a long time, and we're so proud to come into some of our chamber members and feature them so that you all can see what they're doing and get involved. Let that, let that um, art artist inside of you just spew out and uh, they can help you to and if you're already know a lot they can help you advance even further but it's fun I mean how fun is and that we get so many people who say I'm not an artist right and, and this was one and mm -hmm. look at her and look at what she's done yes well and, thank you Jenny oh, we really do appreciate it and uh Make sure you stop into Art Space and don't miss next week's episode, which will be airing on Thursday at 10 a.m. So long for now from SPI Chamber today.